Hello Witches and welcome to Disney Dolls House issue 33. Let's have a quick flip through of the magazine. So in this week's issue we have got all the pieces for a new internal door. This is the one between Alice's Kitchen and the Frozen Hallway. I love the card design on this. So of course we're going to need wood glue, um, all-purpose glue, toothpicks and the parts from previous issues. Um, I still haven't received issue 31 so I still have my window missing and also the wall <laughs> that goes in the corner over there, the replacement for that. So we're still waiting on that. Um, and then this issue we've also got a character which I'll show you in a moment. So first up we've got our assembly instructions which I've had a quick flip, flip through and they're pretty much the same as um, when we did the frozen Mickey door. So should, should, should famous last words be fairly simple. Quite in depth. Um, instructions. And then we've got learn more about Marie from the Aristocats because we do have the character of Marie in this issue. Um, so yeah, it's all about her, the magic of Disney. Then on the back, the usual blurb and what's coming in issue 34, which some flowers and decorative items for the um, frozen hallway and a rug. And also some skirting boards for Alice's kitchen, which I think, yeah, that will actually finish off Alice's room, apart from obviously the windows. Um, but then I think after that, that's it. I don't think we'll really touch much more of the ground floor. Um, I think we're then going to purely focus on the basement. I mean, we've already done one floor of the basement. Um, but after that, I think we're just going to focus on creating Winnie the Pooh's room in the basement. So let's get into building the door. So these are all the building bits that we've got for this issue. Um, so the first thing we want to do is take the frozen side, which is a bit bowed. <laughs> it was last time, if I remember correctly. And then the centerpiece, which they call a mullion, needs gluing into place the correct way up. So let's pop some wood glue on there. Again, because these parts are a little bit bowed, you really want to make sure that all the areas are covered with glue, especially the tips, because that's when um, it's most likely to flick up. But obviously don't go too overboard, otherwise you will get glue absolutely everywhere. So flip that around, pop it in place. Um, and then get some clips to hold it down. I just have these mini binder clips. I find they're the right strength. I've seen some people use clothes pegs, which is fine, but I, I just don't think they have the same amount of strength, but maybe they do. Maybe they do. So it's just holding that piece down against the wood. Just do all four bits to make sure that it's clipped down. And put it to one side for a moment. So the next thing they want us to do is stick these pieces together. Um, yep, yeah, so Alice's is, is plastic and the frozen room is wood. So we're going to have to use all purpose glue or if you've got super glue, that'll work just as well. I'm just going to move these out of the way. So I'm going to use the Bostic all-purpose glue for this and hope that it works. And I want to put quite a bit on as well because, again, it's bowed, the wood piece anyway. So I just want to make sure that it's going to um, spread a bit better. I'm 
going right over towards the edge if you can see um, because it's got a raised ridge so I've got a funny feeling all that glue I've just put in the middle is not actually going to stick to anything <laughs> so I'm just pulling the glue over to the edge but you've got to be super glue with super glue super quick with this glue because it's already drying I can feel it already so I need to get the clips off here quick um, but making sure that the sides match oh no never mind making sure that oh, that the thing um, the smaller um, panels are the right way up so the love hearts the right way up in the center of the door I'll show you in a second I just want to get this stuck down because the glue is already drying sure it's there and then I need to just pop this back on so I'm just going to put a bit more glue on there as well because it popped off when I took off the clips and not time to bond yet making sure that it's all got stuff on pop it back on and put some more clips on So we'll give this a good few minutes to dry. So with the door, what I was trying to say with the door, but I was in a hurry, is the smaller panels on the frozen door are the bottom of the door. Um, so when you turn the door round, make sure that this is facing the right way up. So this heart in the center is facing the right way up rather than that way up. So as you open and close the door, they're both the right way up. So I'll just give that a moment or ten to dry. All right, so we've given that some time to dry. Um, we need to go ahead and do the frame. So we need two horizontal beams and two vertical beams. Taking note that one of them is round and the other one is square and also has the um, holes for the door frame in there and what we're going to do is use wood glue now the horizontal beams as far as I can tell there's no difference to which way round they go so we're just going to put some glue on the end bit And then that is going to stick into this bit. But remember to keep the door handles because they're not exactly in the middle. So they need to be further towards the bottom. So just bear that in mind. And we're just going to pop that into place. Then we're going to take our door that's hopefully not going to come unglued. Because it won't be fully, fully dry. But enough hopefully for us to do this so what I am going to do because the door is a little bit bowed is I'm actually going to put glue down this centre bit here as well I'm also going to put a bit up there as well in the horizontal piece as well And they just want slotting into place. Make 
making sure that it's square as well i.e. that everything lines up I'll just pin that clip there because I felt the tip of the beam uh, the centerpiece pop up there that's why I'm putting that um, clip back on there so then we also want to put the bottom horizontal piece on as well again just popping some glue in there making sure that slots all into place again making sure everything's square and then again taking the um, vertical post and putting glue down there as well And slotting that into place as well. And again, making sure that that is square. And it looks fine on both sides. And then we're going to take our door handles pop a bit of all-purpose glue on them and then stick them in the holes as well. This is the way I like to do it. I think I find it less messy and also much quicker to handle as well. Ooh. As long as you don't squeeze it too hard. But remembering that the taller part of the door handle goes on the top. Because then it also acts as a push plate. And then just pop it into place. And wipe up any excess glue. And do the same on the other side. glue right so I'm just gonna pop another binder clip on that bottom one there because I can feel it clipping up again clipping up again not clipping up um, so that's it for the door so the door should look like that remember to keep the door handles with the thicker bit at the top and also the door plates panels the smaller ones on the frozen side should be towards the bottom of the door and then as we open the door wait hang on no i've done it wrong i've done it wrong okay because the, this door is going to open and close like that so these vertical beams <laughs> need to be the other way around so they need to be in that way Good job, I was just going through my head of I need to run for the checklist to make sure things are in place. And because I've literally only just glued it, it should, <laughs> famous last words, should all stick into place. <laughs> always the simple things, always, always. Yes, okay. So, going back through my little checklist and making sure the doors are right where we're 
do um door pulls door handles um the thicker um part should be t facing the top these lower panels should be at the bottom so then when you open the door Alice's side <laughs> is then the right way up with the love heart um, facing the right way because these door handles will go that way and then open and close like so. Ah, silly Billy. So, just pop them on there to try and keep that glue. In fact, I'm going to pop a bit more glue on there if I can. Yep, it's really starting to dry in the middle, so that's a good thing. I'm just going to pop a bit more glue on this end piece. Get it stuck down there. And with the clip straight on, and then again on this side. It's because it's so, the centre part is so bowed, so it's just, it wants to go where it wants to. Hopefully it's not going to affect the door, uh, the door working in the jam. So put that to one side for the moment. So the next thing you want to do is work with the head casing. So we'll need this bit that's only been painted on one side and then where all the, the it's got several different holes, but there's only one piece like this. So, right, so we need to hold it painted side facing us with the tiny hole at this side. And then we're going to glue the bit just above it. Make sure it's nice and somewhat evenly spread. And then we're going to take the frozen decorative side and place it on top and glue it on top and make sure it's as level as it can get, both vertically and horizontally. Then we're going to take these teeny tiny pins that they've only given us two of, so don't lose any. Teeny tiny bins, and they're gonna want a blob of the all-purpose glue on the bottom of them, and then they're just gonna go literally into these holes at the bottom in top of the door because these are basically gonna work as our hinges. No, just stick it in the all-purpose glue. But don't stick in them too far because they need a few millimetres stuck out. Like so. And I think they sometimes drill the holes a little bit too much sometimes. This hole is barely drilled at all. This one's a tiny hole. Okay. So then we need to make some room. Let's put the lid back on that before it dries. frame piece now and what we're going to do is glue the doorstep making sure that the teeny tiny hole is on this side then we're going to glue that into position there again just with some wood glue just evenly spreading it evenly spreading it round I should say Next one. 
and then let's pop them into place which then covers that gap then we want to take our vertical uh, posts which have got the frozen on one side and gold on the other um, and then pop glue all the way down the crevice we once I've stopped throwing it around the room so in fact where's my glue I'm just gonna put straight from the glue bottle down here because it's quite a wide gap and then just pop it straight into place sure it's really pressed up against the wall and also that the floor plate the notch is in position make sure that's okay on both sides Just wiping any glue away and then just doing the same for the other post on this side place and then really push it against the wall get rid of any excess glue glue on that one well, at least we know it's going to stick in place <laughs> so we've got a nice tight thing and the next thing we want to do is take our door and the door rest the top taking the clips off and we're going to want to place the door jam uh, the door head piece on top of the door lining up the pin on there and then you want to be able to see that other pin and then put that pin it's a bit fiddly in the hole at the bottom so the pins in at the bottom and you want to let's just leave that to rest there a minute because the other thing you, you want as well is the top part of this door jam to be glued. So I just run that there. So now just lean it out a little bit while you get the door head rest in the pin. And then literally, oh, Bottom pin in, top pin in, then literally push it all together. So then, hopefully, we can then push the head piece into place again getting rid of any excess glue and that bit off the floor there as well and then that should be okay for a little while making sure that's all pressed so that looks pretty good on that side 
and we want to flip round and be able to the queen set well Alice has said just going to put the headdress uh, headpiece on this side of the door or the head casing as the magazine calls it so I'm just going to put some all-purpose glue on the bit that sticks up I'm going to put quite a bit on because you're not going to see on the back I just want to make sure it stays in place and then line it up with that teeny tiny hole that was on the back and then rest it on top of the vertical bits and then voila we have our door that opens and closes nicely obviously this is still drying so I don't want to keep moving with it keep moving with it keep playing with it um, so yeah and that's the door complete um, a little bit fiddly but we got there in the end so yeah so now I think oh no this top part there and then the staircase oh the ice cream man's here always gets the dog happy and excited So the other thing that we got in this issue was Marie from the Aristocats, which is a really nice figure with her pink bows. But that is just really nicely done as well. She's really nicely painted as well. Because I've got a... Um, she's really nicely painted as well. I really appreciate how well a lot of this stuff is painted because... I'm going to give you a little sneak for Halloween, shall I? Um, yeah. So I bought something. It was like only a few pounds on eBay. And it's basically a figure set of some of the Disney characters all dressed up for Halloween. Um, but this is goofy and it's supposed to be like a Frankenstein sort of zombie. But look how badly he's painted. <laughs> Um, I mean, his nose is supposed to be black. <laughs> there's no, he has no nose. Um, his ears aren't fully black. Um, there's no detail on the gloves. You know, it's just really poorly painted. So what I was thinking was stripping these all back, well, priming them, and then trying to repaint them myself. Um, if you guys think that's a good idea, or if you've got any suggestions for me, leave me a comment below um, and let me know what you think. Uh, I'm not going to show you the other characters because if I do do it, I, I don't want to sort of ruin the surprise. But yeah, should I repaint these figures? I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different figures. So there's quite a few figures, but yeah so let me know in the comments if you w think i should repaint these figures and share my, the process with you obviously make a video about it um but yeah little sneak for halloween which isn't that far away <laughs> um but yeah so that's it for this issue hope you enjoyed it and found it useful we have now two doors Two internal doors they're the only internal doors actually so all the internal doors are done um, but yeah thanks so much for watching bye